Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mrs. Espinosa and I'm a kinder teacher in Texas. It is Monday, it's about to be 4 p.m. It's after school and today definitely felt like a Monday. This was the start of our second week of school. I was very low energy today, so I apologize if I'm still low energy. I'm so tired but I'll still walk you through what our day looked like. So I'll start off by saying that all of last week, pre-K and kinder students have been coming into school through the same doors. So we've been walking kids to their classrooms, but today most of my kids managed to walk in by themselves. Well, they sit outside against a wall and then I did let them in on time today at about 7.25. That's when they should be coming into the classroom. So there was just like a handful that was here on time. They walked in this morning and I did have to give some verbal reminders. All right, where does your lunch bag go? Where does your backpack go? So they know the area that those things go in. And then on Friday, I did give them new table spots. So I made sure that they found the right table spot. And then I put on Peep in the Big Wide World while they waited for breakfast. So I haven't introduced their morning work to them yet, but I think I will do that tomorrow and it's actually sitting right in front of me. I've mentioned this work previously in other vlogs, but I bought this big homework bundle from Learning with Miss Langley from TPT. This is supposed to be homework, but last year I started using it as morning work and I really loved it as morning work, so I'm going to continue to use it as morning work. I do have a lot of kids that need to work on their writing, so I like that they start off with writing their name every day. For the August packet, they start off with writing letters numbers, circling and coloring things that start with A. So this is pretty simple, but for the kids that I know have no experience holding pencils, coloring and things like that, what I do is I write their name in highlighter and I'll write their letters in highlighter just so they could trace over them because I know they'll need that extra help. So I'll do that for some of my kids. But yeah, I will introduce their morning work tomorrow. I finally also labeled their cubbies on Friday after school. So their cubbies are labeled and their notebooks are labeled, which let me show you a little trick that I saw on some teacher gram. I don't remember who it was, but I just made the mental note of like, oh, that's a really good idea. I'll remember to do that. So right now when their cubbies are just keeping a couple of notebooks, they'll have a blue writing notebook and then a green science slash social studies notebook. My little notebook trick is since they go in like this, color-coded on this side. And that way they can just pull out, you know, if I say blue notebook, they can just pull it out easily without having to pull out all of their notebooks out of there. They still need one more notebook, which will be their math. I'll introduce notebooks this week. Anyway, so yeah, my kids have breakfast. So just verbal reminder, all right, whenever you're ready, clean it up. And they know that they pour their milk or their juice down the sink. Everything else goes in the trash. Today for their enrichment, for specials, they went with the art teacher. So that was their first time going with the art teacher. Dropped them off and that was my planning time. I had one little girl like on her way walking to the art teacher. She pulled her skin off of her finger and she pulled off a big chunk because it was just like a bubble of blood. So I had to like walk back with her. She washed her hands and then I put a band-aid on her. And then it was just yeah, a very busy morning. I had to print out, well type up and print out my objectives which are posted on my wall just right over here so I posted those made sure I had my read aloud book which today it was a book called all are welcome but whenever they came back most of them remembered their floor spot which I just have tape on the floor and they've been leaving it alone we did a couple of movement songs they were really loving the zumba minions dance that's on youtube after that we started counting on our calendar and they jump as we count then they have a seat and then today we did the letter s i have a lot of students that have an s in their name so typically at the beginning of the year i like to pick letters that most kids or a lot of kids have in their name whether it's uppercase or lowercase and they all have little name tags. It's just yarn and a little laminated piece of paper that'll say their name and teacher name. They've been really good about wearing those every day. It's really helpful whenever it's morning message time. They looked at their name tags and they put a thumbs up if they have a letter S or thumbs down if they don't have a letter S. Wrote their names down, 
Then I have the little teaching tubs, which have five to six things that start with that letter. So we talked about everything that was in there. And then we stand up and we jump to all this, jump and count to all the syllables in the names and the words with that letter. Then we did our read aloud, all are welcome. And it was more of a picture walk today. So we practiced raising their hands, which did not go very well today. They were all just shouting over each other. That's what we were trying to practice is raising their hand, not blurting out. And then it was lunchtime. They did pretty good at lunchtime. They know they get their milk. They know where they put their milk on the tray and they slide their tray down, get what they need to get, and then walk in line all the way down the gym because that's where they're eating because of COVID measures. Some classrooms are eating in the cafeteria. Some classrooms are eating in the gym. My class is in the gym and they're all spaced out. And our recess time did get pushed back like about 10 minutes. So we did have time today to stop by the classroom. They put their lunch bags away, used the restroom very quickly, and then we went to recess. We came back, we stay in line to wash their hands. After they wash their hands, they have a seat at their table spot. And if they don't have water, then I have the little water bottles that the school is providing and I write their name on it. They sit down, have their water when they're done, put it in their cubbies. And then we did a couple more movement songs and then I put their literacy centers out, which are the same as last week. So we've just been rotating through those five tables and they know that we go in a circle. And since I have new table spots for some of the kids, there was one group in particular that today I noticed <laughs> It's horrible with rotating like everybody in that group was clueless, but it's fine. Like this is this is what the first few weeks are for. Just practicing and practicing. I still have three centers that I need to introduce. I haven't put any books in the library. The other one would be the sound wall slash writing area. And then I have iPads. So those are three things that they haven't been introduced to. Um, so they've just been at each table for 10 minutes and then I have a rainbow timer and they rotate after the literacy centers. I've typically been doing a snack break so they took a little break and I put on either Peep in the Big Wide World or I find an animated story that they can watch. So today they watched Green Eggs and Ham and David Goes to School. Then after they finished eating they wiped down their tables and we did a couple more movement songs and then they did their math centers. But yeah, again, practice the rotations. So while they were at centers, I did get to finish assessing my students. Well, I had two that were absent today though, so those are the only two that I'm missing. And this is something else that I've already mentioned in other vlogs, but here I go again. I just printed out the first sheet. This is a free assessment that I have on my Teachers by Teachers. I can link it below, but I'll write the student name. And so for the beginning of the year, I'm using the orange highlighter. So if that student was able to identify the uppercase letters, I highlight them. And then the next time, maybe I'll use green for the middle of the year and I'll, highlight, and I'll ask them the letters that they didn't know previously. And I just printed out the first page because we're still having like copier issues. But speaking of copiers, teachers will not be allowed to make their own copies anymore. This is like a completely new system. So a couple of the office workers gave us these blue folders. So we're supposed to put our copies in there. Did that for the first time. Turn them in today. Hopefully I get them tomorrow. It said within 24 to 48 hours. So either tomorrow or Wednesday is when I should receive those copies. But I think that's all I want to share with y'all for today, y'all. Like I'm so hungry. I hope y'all cannot hear my tummy, but it's growling. I wrote my to-do list. Let me look at it have a couple of things that I could do at home. I do wanna to put together a folder for my lesson planning resources. I haven't done that yet. So I need to pick out a binder and empty it. I also need to print out our PLC sign-in sheets. I haven't done that. And a scope and sequence calendar for all of our subjects. So for ELA, math, science, social studies. And then I need to make the little class management chart. That stuff I will do at home. Let me get out of here. I will see y'all later. Hello everyone, it is Tuesday after school. Today was a hot, hot mess. So let me just start at the beginning. So today I introduced two new things. I introduced the morning greeting. So I was standing at the door and as the kids were coming in, I explained what the morning greeting was and they touched whatever choice they wanted. And second, also as they were coming in, I was giving them their morning work. So the students that I knew were gonna need that extra help I went ahead and wrote their names and what they needed to trace over and then everybody else was able to do it independently. I have 
a few students in particular that are very hesitant to write whatever they traced was like incredibly faint but that is okay i just encouraged them as long as they did their best i was like yes you got it that's a super good job but all right that was kind of the morning they did well cleaning up and then today they went with the science teacher and that's where the drama begins so they got little magnets when i went to pick them up the science teacher had given them magnets and i had a couple of friends at the back of the line i don't there was like an issue one friend wanted to get the other friend's magnet i think this friend said no but this friend didn't hear and so this friend's magnet got taken away and his instinct was just to smack the other friend so that was just chaos because then that child started crying and we were like again walking down the hallway trying to come back to class there's other classes in the hallways he cried all the way back and then once we got in the classroom we talked about what the issue was got it taken care of and then just those two friends made one the caboose so that friend is always at the end of the line and the other one will be at the front of the line because they've been butting heads a lot so that was some drama we did our morning message today we did letter w oh and then we read what should danny do which let me show you that book because it's super cool I found out about this book. It was recommended in one of the podcasts that I listened to. And then I have seen a couple of other teachers on their teachergram share about this book. I've never read a book like this. So the big concept of this book is having the power to choose. So the main character's name is Danny, who is practicing his superhero power of having the power to choose. And it's really cool because, for example, when we start off the book, the first choice that we have to help him make is it's morning time he's supposed to be getting ready for school but he wants to pretend and play that he is fighting off dr what the evil dr ninjario so here's the choice for the students they pick should he keep playing or should he stop playing and get ready for school and my kids ended up picking all of the good choices for the book so that's one version so yeah, if you make that choice, you go to page 36. So go to page 36. And then you keep reading the story from here. And then you just keep going and then you'll find Danny has to make another choice. So as I reread it this week, we're going to make different choices and just see what that sad choice leads to. It's basically like eight stories in one because he can make all of these different choices. And another thing that you can do when stories are kind of long, like this was a bit long, but I had already read through the good choices version. So like some parts were a little too long, so I, I just paraphrase. So yeah, we barely got through reading it and then it was time for lunch. So I didn't introduce this, but we talked about having the power to choose. So again, we'll just be talking about that the rest of the week. And so what I have to do now is I'll just write their names up here and I'll just be giving them points for any good choices that they make. And typically at the end of the week, if they have, I usually make it 10 points. If by Friday they have 10 points and they'll get a special treat, like this past Friday, it was popsicles, but I hadn't started the system. Now that their personalities are coming out, we're really going to focus on those good choices, sad choices. So we finished the book, went to lunch, and then they did all right. At lunchtime, I didn't get any complaints from the staff. So then we went to recess, walked back, they washed their hands, sat down, had their water. We did some movement songs and then same literacy centers that we've been practicing through, except today they did horrible with the play-doh let me show y'all this play-doh this is basically empty all of the play-doh is in here but i told them i'm not gonna give them any more we're done with play-doh that was the consequence then i also had to keep reminding them not to dump out all the letters that was super frustrating too i had a couple of groups that they just like to dump out all of the letters and I stopped them, I made them clean it up. Let's try again, one letter at a time. They had their snack and then we started our math center. So since I took away the Play-Doh, I introduced pattern blocks to them. And let me show you these. So a super simple activity that you can teach your kids when working with pattern blocks. All of these are from prekinders.com. If you don't know about prekinders.com, they have a ton of free resources and the pattern block mats are my favorite. And the really cool thing also is you can print them out black and white or you can print them out in color. 
I have had these since my first year of teaching, so this is something I always pull out at the beginning of the school year. They did better with the pattern blocks. I sat down with them, modeled how to work with them, taking one shape out at a time, not dumping all the shapes out. After Matt Centers, we did a couple more songs. We watched some Peep and Quack, and then we cleaned up for the day. I think that's kind of all that I want to fill you in on. It's just very busy, busy day. During my planning time, we did have a PLC. Tuesdays, we typically have PLCs with our administrators, so today was our first PLC with administrators, and we were talking about what should be happening. This year, we're gonna have like a 45-minute intervention block, so that we were just talking about what that should look like. I've been making myself little breakfast sandwiches at home. I usually eat my breakfast sandwich like during my lunch time, so that's what I did today. I was like, hurrying up to eat. I think that's really all of the big things that I wanted to share with y'all. Like just take it a day at a time y'all. Yesterday was better than today. Today was a hot mess, but it's okay. Tomorrow will be a new day. And I had four kids absent, so I thought my day would be easier just having 17 students, but that was not the case. <laughs> Tomorrow will be better. And before we left, I did have a conversation with them. I told them I was not happy with their choices, but I said, but I know we'll do better tomorrow. Let's make some good choices tomorrow. I'm going to run out of here. Today is my gym day, so probably see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday. It's my lunchtime. It's about 10, 15. I'm heating up my lunch. I bought some tamales, so that's what I'm gonna eat for lunch, chicken tamales. But this morning has been delightful. It's been great so far. I did get a new baby. All right, somebody's coming in my room. All right, that was one of our custodians. I had books delivered. I think I did forget to mention this. Was it Monday? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Monday. So the district, they had a big order of books for I think every school. And there were books that the kids were supposed to take home for the summer. So I don't know what happened, but we're just receiving them now. So I have like, these boxes right here are books that the kids are gonna take home. And I don't know why Miss Mo and I, like all the kinder bilingual classes got their boxes, but I don't know what happened with the English books, but those are the English books that will split up between us. So I'm hopeful that the rest of our day will go better, especially during literacy time, but we didn't even get a chance to read our book. So we'll do another version of what should Danny do and then we'll go into literacy centers. I have four students absent, so I have 18 in the classroom today. Today, honestly, was also a payday, so I want to go to Ikea today for sure to get yeah, extra stools. I think I'm gonna get just three for now. So now I have two tables that have five kids at each table, and then the rest have four, so the ones that have four have enough chairs, but for those extra kids at the end of the table, I'm gonna get the little black stools. Let me eat my lunch. <laughs> These are the little tamales that I bought. So I'm gonna have a couple of those. And then today after school from like 3.30 to 4.30, the science teacher prepared, she put together some stuff for us. So people just, she sent it out to the whole school. So if you wanted to attend, you would just have to reply to the email and let her know that you're attending. So she has the supplies for you. But yeah, that'll be today after school for like an hour. So I think I'm gonna head out just right after that, like 4.30. I think I'll just check in with y'all tomorrow and let y'all know how the rest of our day went. But yep, let me eat my lunch and I'll catch y'all later. Good morning, friends. It is Thursday morning. It's about like 10.20ish. It's my lunch time. I don't have any lunch today. I still have three other tamales that I didn't eat yesterday, but I'm gonna save those for tomorrow because I'm really craving pizza. I really like pizza from Blaze Pizza, but they don't open until 10.30, so I'm gonna put in my order for DoorDash and then just have it be delivered. Whenever I get that, I'll like eat throughout the day maybe. I don't know. I have some yogurt as a little snack in the meantime, but I do want to talk a little bit about yesterday since I didn't get a chance to because of the training, which I will talk about. Just a few things that I've been able to do throughout the week because there's always just so many little, little things, so many. But something that I finally got to do were my equity sticks. So I always have this cup with my equity sticks, which is literally just a popsicle. And I write the student name, and then I put tape on one end of the popsicle. That way, if I'm picking students for the day, 
And if that student already had a choice, then I'll put it upside down. So that's just a super easy way to keep track of who's had a turn throughout the day. And every time that I, I'm going to pick someone, I shake it. And then the students do a drum roll. So they drum roll on their lap. Drum roll while I pick somebody. Yeah, so I got to do that finally. 22 equity sticks. What else? Yesterday, they did a coloring book. Here are my extra coloring books. So I bought this off of Teachers Say Teachers. I think it was like a dollar since it was on sale, but yeah, it's really just a giant coloring book. They only did like two pages yesterday, but once, so that was one of the centers yesterday, and I introduced like putting their work away in their cubbies. And then this morning, once they finished their morning work, they put that in their cubbies as well. And the thing I wrote down was that I mentioned earlier in the week that I switched out, I was done with the Play-Doh, so I put pattern blocks at the table, put letter mat that they have to make with the pattern blocks. And then yesterday they did much, much better at centers, but every single time that we were about to switch, I reminded them to take out one manipulative out at a time instead of dumping all of them. And then just one other little thing that I wanted to mention is that whenever I go pick up my students from lunch, my first graders, so my kinder babies that I had last year, they're eating lunch. That group was just so spoiled because since they had to eat lunch in the classroom, they needed anything heated up, like I would heat it up for them. And I joked with them, like a lot of them eat naan and I love naan, so I joked a lot with them. And I was like, oh, thank you, you brought me some naan, that's for me. And they kept saying that they would bring me some naan from home. And one of my girls, yeah, brought me some naan one day and then another day she brought me bolani, which is like an Afghan flatbread that is stuffed. And that one time she brought it to, for me, I think I think it was like filled with leeks and I don't know what else, but it's spicy. Like it was really good, but it was spicy. So I would like take a bite and drink some water. So yesterday that same baby brought me some bolani and it was stuffed with like potatoes. So yummy and it wasn't as spicy. And I haven't seen her yet to thank her. So I'll probably like when I get my kids today like I'll thank her and tell her it was so yummy so that was like the perfect snack yesterday because I was still hungry after those three tamales this morning has been good so far I have 19 kids I still I have three absent we did letter L and then we had a little bit of time we had like about eight minutes before we needed to leave so I'm always really bad about birthdays even though like I have a chart, but I just got that little birthday chart last year. I have the little roster with their birthdays on it. So I went through everybody's birthday. Everybody's birthday is on the little poster. So for this month of September, we, we will only have one friend that will have a birthday. And then from October, I think we also have just one, but then in November we have five, somebody's knocking. I don't know how one of the teachers ended up with like extra kinder books, um, that I talked about the scholastic summer books that we're supposed to give out and I just hadn't gone to pick them up But she had students drop them off. So that was really sweet. What was I talking about? Yes, our morning and Oh, yeah, so right before we read another version of what should Danny do? Oh, man, I'm all over the place But yeah, we did letter L we did what should Danny do we read another version and then we did our birthdays and so and while we were we were on the way out the door and one of my little girls was like, I think I'm gonna throw up. And the trash can was like there, so she threw up a little bit on the floor, but then she managed to like throw up in the trash can. And she was like totally fine. Like she was just very casual about it. She's like, okay, I'm done. I'm gonna go wash my hands. <laughs> and like she took, she had like a little Lunchable and juice and she was like, she was just totally fine. Just got back in line. I was like, are, are you okay? Are you sure you're going to eat? She's like, yeah, I don't know what happened, but I'm okay. So um, I need to text her mom just to let her know that happened. Did I finish talking about yesterday? I'm so sorry, I'm like all over the place. They did much better yesterday overall in centers. And then at the end of the day, the science teacher did like a little workshop. Our next science unit will be magnets. I think she had like six tables set up with different activities. And she did it by grade level too. Like she's amazing. Last year, since because of the COVID situation, the kids, ancillary enrichment teachers came to the classroom. So I really enjoyed like watching her teach science with the kids. Let me show you what we created. And it was kind of funny because she definitely overplanned. Her plan was for us to rotate through the tables, but we kind of just did what 
we had time for. So this took us a little while to put together. She just had like a ton of boxes with different kinds of materials. And you can put whatever things you wanted on it. We hot glued it, but just different. So the kids can sample different things that are magnetic or non-magnetic. But yeah, we have like pebbles, buttons, erasers, like just all this stuff. Really great. And a couple of my teammates weren't able to make it to the training, so I went ahead and like made one for them so that they also have the stuff when the time comes. This was really cool. I think this is iron, iron fillings or filings. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. But this is like the dusty stuff that's magnetic. It's really cool. And I actually I have like five or six of these that I that I got. Super cool. And then another thing that she had, um, we, she allowed us to take four little cars and then she attached um, a magnet at the end. And then she had another magnet so that the poles have to be opposite so that the magnet could push the, the little car so the kids can race with the little cars. Like just, she blows my mind with her activities. Then she also had another activity where she tied yarn to a paper clip and then she had like, oh, look at that. So it was just a big string, paper clip at the end, and then the kids had to use a magnet to lift the paper clip and move it around. Like she blows my mind. But anyway, oh, and yesterday I did introduce the tally mark chart. So this morning I started giving points to my friends that finished their morning work and put it in their cubby. So they do have to show me and then I tell them, okay, yep, you're done. Go put it in your cubby. And I gave them a point. So the kids that have points will get, I think I'll just get them ice cream tomorrow. Or actually, I don't know what I'm going to give yet. But I do need to go to the grocery store today then. But I think that's kind of it, y'all. So I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow, finally Friday. And then we'll have a three-day weekend. And then the week after that week of September 13th is going to be really weird because we... Basically, we'll just have school three days, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then that Thursday of that week, I think it'll be the 16th, will be a holiday on a Thursday. And then the following day will be a teacher work day with no students on that Friday. So that's gonna be really interesting. So four day week next week, and then three day week the following. So like, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. The beginning of the school year is always like so draining. So I am looking forward to not having full week for the next couple of weeks but I think that's all I want to share I'll probably see you tomorrow hello friends it is Friday after school it's almost like 3 45 ish I was chatting with some teacher friends but I'm back in the classroom now so just gonna do a quick vlog because I'm ready to run out of here I need a nap I do have like three highlights from yesterday that I want to share the first one is that I had mentioned to you all what my playground rules are well, yesterday we had a student that peed on the playground. So now before we go outside to the playground, another reminder added to the list is we do not pee on the playground. <laughs> that was very unexpected, but this is one of the reasons why I don't let them play with the mulch. The mulch is so yucky and then there's kids that are spitting. Like this is why I just don't let them play with that yucky mulch. Anyway, so that was one unexpected thing. Secondly is overall they did a lot better with their materials yesterday when they were doing their math centers. But I do have like one group with like two personalities that butt heads, which I need to switch one of them. I need to switch one of their spots. I need to do that before I leave. But yeah, yesterday they were butting heads. They were not sharing. So I ended up just taking away the manipulatives, had a chat with them, and I told them you can just sit here because you don't know how to share. And then they did much better at the other tables. And then the third thing is just that we had an emergency after school meeting with all of the teachers, all of the staff, because we have been having students this week that are going home because they are showing COVID symptoms and what the process is for online learning because classroom teachers are not doing any hybrid model, any type of online learning. So if we do have a student that needs to quarantine, then there's other district staff that is handling all of that. So we have to contact one of our administrators and then that administrator contacts um, the district online department and 
get that child set up for the online learning while they're quarantined. So it is kind of nice that we don't have to worry about kids switching to online learning and having to do hybrid. So yeah, that was yesterday. I don't think I have very many updates for today. So another layer that I'm gonna introduce next week are their yellow folders. So right now they're sitting on top right here. I did have a moment to label them today. So that's wonderful because I thought I was gonna have to take that home and do it at home, but I remembered that I did print an extra set of their little name labels. So yeah, cut those out, tape them on there so they're good to go. Still haven't passed out those scholastic books. They're just sitting right here. We keep getting all the water delivery. So I have like, I don't know, eight or nine stacks. I have nine stacks of like those water bottles. But the water situation is much better. So anytime that they need water, I write their name on their water bottle and yeah, they're doing great with putting it in their cubbies. If they need to get up and have a sip, that's fine. This weekend, I definitely need to get together some new centers for them. One of which is going to be like this rainbow craft. Miss Mo craft all of the little papers for it, but I will just show y'all on Tuesday what that looks like. We won't have any school on Monday, so next week will just be a four-day week. What else I did? Spray all of the manipulatives down with some disinfecting spray. And today was our treat day, so the kids counted their little tally marks. And yeah, there were some that did not get a treat because they cannot keep their hands to themselves. So that's something really big that we're working on, keeping their hands to themselves. Oh, I also did have a couple of students that put manipulatives in their pockets, but I caught them and I had a chat with them and I told them, we don't take my things, these are my things, go put them back. <laughs> but all right, y'all, I'm so tired. I'm ready to go home and nap. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I talked about or anything that I showed in my classroom. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.